Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So there's an abundance of espresso tools that you can buy. So today I wanna to give you the three that I think are most vital to home espresso, especially with the likes of Normcore, MHW3 Bomber coming onto the scene. They've made these tools really affordable and really easy to get hold of. So let's get into it. I just want to start by saying I'll leave a link below to all of the tools that I use and describe. I'll also leave a, a cheaper alternative that I've tried and tested so there's something there for all markets. So to start with, coffee scale. Now I have done I think three videos probably on this guy. This is the Time More Black Mirror Nano Smart Scale. Now this comes in at about £90 so it's in probably the middle of the range. I will obviously link a cheaper one down below. But a coffee scale is essential basically because to get consistency, you need to be weighing your beans in. Some people will weigh them out as well. I do just to check for retention, etc. And then more importantly, you need to brew your ratio. So really, if you put 18 grams in, a good rule of thumb is a two to one espresso. So 18 in, 36 out. To get good and consistent espresso, you need to be weighing your doses. So, and also on top of that, you want to time it as an added function. Now, my machine now has a built-in timer, so that's great. I don't really have to. I just tear the scale and I'm off. But before that, I didn't. I, it used to be on the Gaggia Classic. I used to, as soon as I pressed go on that button, I got a finger on the timer, so I was like that. I was pressing two buttons at the same time. So I started the timer as soon as I started the shot. And that way, you, you can sort of gauge where you're at. So if you've got a shot running too fast, so say it runs in 15 seconds, you know you need to grind a little bit finer. Again, the other way, if it's taking 50 seconds, grind that little bit coarser. So the time gives you obviously a way of, of knowing how your shot is going. Obviously, if you're using the likes of pre-infusion flow control, then you probably already got a scale like this, to be honest, and, and this that was obviously nonsense to you because you're already probably above the beginner entry level. But as I say, weigh your beans, time your shot, two to one ratio is probably aiming for 25 to 30 seconds as a starting point. And then based on taste, which is the absolute deciding factor, not times, not weight, taste, then make your adjustments. So second tool to talk about, WDT, Weiss Distribution Technique. Now, I don't know the guy who, or girl who invented this little thing, but this came onto the scene, I probably knew about it about 18 months ago or so. And basically, any grinder out there, when you grind, the distribution and also the particle size can differ and you can get clumps of ground coffee. Now, if you just tamp those ground clumps, there is going to be patches of your puck which are denser than other parts. And as we know, water will take the easiest path. So the idea with WDT is, is to stir up all your coffee grounds, make them nice and fluffy, but make them even, make them the same. So when you compress that puck, when you tamp, all of the bed should be pretty much the same. So in reality, or in theory, the, the water, when it distributes over the top of the puck, it should be even where it goes. Hence, you should get less channeling, more consistency, and higher extraction. Now, this is a 3D printed one. Um, it's quite a high quality 3D printed one because it was printed on a, a, a rather expensive 3D printer, which actually prints uh, powder rather than like a reel. So again, but you can get cheap options. I three, I got one 3D printed purely because I had the option of a 3D printer available to me and I used one of the Thingiverse, I think it's called, um, the person who developed this basically, this tool on the stand. 
but you can buy them now. You can get them off Amazon. You can buy expensive ones. You can buy cheap ones. I'll link them below. Also, if you have 3D printed one, I had a nightmare finding which needles to use. So I'll leave a link to the needles that I used that were basically the correct length. I don't know how many times I've bought some off Amazon, probably about four or five goes I had at different needles because they're all too short. So the third tool and final tool I want to talk about, which I think is essential, is a self-leveling tamper. This is the Push Tamper by Clockwork Espresso. Uh, a fairly expensive tamper, I think more aimed at a barista in a coffee shop rather than the home user. But we won't talk about that today. What you want to do on these is you can see you've obviously got your tamp and it's a level. So this round the edge of it self levels your puck. So when you tamp, all you've literally got to do is yeah, let me grab a basket. So basically, you've got that. Look, all it does when you're tamping, look, it just sits flat, straight in there. So whenever you tamp, you just press down on the top. You're always going to get a nice level tamp. Obviously, with this guy, you set the depth as a grub screw on the side to mess about with to set your depth. This, like I say, is an expensive tamper, but again, there's plenty of options. And to be honest, the Norm Core, I think the version for spring tamper, which has got a self leveler, you can push down, does the same job quarter of the price of this thing um, you've also got the likes of the um, force tamper which is the calibrated one super expensive you've got the bravo tamper again nice but expensive same sort of price as this and then i think i'd like to do some honorable mentions of three things which i think are nice but not necessarily essential and the first thing would be a dosing collar so obviously you put this on top of let me grab that port filter again so you put this on top of your porta filter. So when you are in there with your WDT, it's not going to go everywhere. If you haven't got a collar on there, for me, the ground sit just proud. So if you're going to be swirling in there, you're getting a bit aggressive with it, it's going to fly everywhere without a collar. Again, super cheap. You can buy different ones, magnetic ones, non-magnetic. Be careful with the cheaper ones. This is a cheaper one, and to be honest, I need to replace it because it doesn't fit this basket very well. If you look, if you listen, look at that, listen to all the play in that. And because it's not magnetic either, coffee grounds actually get under the lip. So this one, not good, but it worked fantastically, perfectly well on my Gaggio Classic. Just on this Posado Porter filter, it does not. RDT. So the Ross Droplet Technique. So with the Niche Zero, you will get between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 grams of retention, in my opinion, if you don't spray a little bit of water on there. So basically, you just get your, your um, whatever you're using. So if you use the Niche Zero cup, you put your beans in it, and you just give it a bit of a, you give it a mist. Onto the beans, shake them about, put them in, just drops the static, you get zero retention. And then lastly, puck screens. Now, these have been known to increase extraction ever so slightly because they help with the water distribution over the puck. But for me, the main reason I use one is just to keep the shower screen clean. You know, if you don't use one, coffee gets all over the shower screen. I know obviously after we have a shot, we rinse it, etc. But this guy, it just means there's no grounds on your coffee screen at all. And again, these have now become super popular and they're easy to get hold of. I'll link some down below. So as ever, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Highly appreciated. Uh, let me know what tools you've got, which ones you're going to buy. Uh, also, if you've got any recommendations for me, especially for a dosing collar and you use a Posado Porter filter, I mean, wow. That's a VST basket, by the way, but I do have an IMS. Getting a bit off topic. Anyway, brew something good today. Catch you in the next one.